everybody is David from the 80s and you are now entering the cinema chop shop. So park your ras right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button down below. Also, if you check the link, you'll see that I have a Patreon account. You, my friend, can become a Patreon supporter. All you got to do is click the link. You can recommend movies and music for me to review. So, you know, I've, since I got you guys here, I might as well go ahead and discuss my Cobra Kai Season 3 overview. Now, this is just going to be me discussing the season, talking about how I feel, how does it stack up against the other season, and blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? So we're here. Um, like I said in my previous video, I feel that this season was good. It was fun. It was good. But I mean, I don't, I don't think it kept the momentum of the other two seasons. I think this might be the weaker season. And it's not saying that it's a horrible season. I'm not saying it's trash or anything like that. I just feel like as a whole, the season to me isn't as good as the previous two seasons. Does it, like I said, like if the other two seasons were A's, this would be a B. And that's still a good grade, but you know, I'm just saying like as in overall. And I think the biggest contributor to that is the fact that you had, I think seven, eight, and nine. Episode seven, eight, and nine really felt like they were fillery. They felt very fluffy. It felt like, okay, like seven, all right. So when I was watching seven, I'm like, okay, I feel like this is just to set something up. And then it was eight and it was like, they're still setting something up. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm getting kind of annoyed. The episode nine, you're still setting things up. And I was just like, yo, like that was kind of, uh, I don't care, you know? Also the whole idea with the um, the arc, the whole alley arc, man. Like I, I wasn't, I didn't feel like it was necessary. I don't, when I was watching it and I was just like, okay, this is cool. I mean, I love the callback. I love the nostalgia. I love that she came back and things like that. But why like i don't really care like i don't care about her like that like you could have brought her back just like you did kumiko and all them other and chosen could have did it for like less than an episode and it just moved on even that had more substance Cho chosen and kumiko made sense because it led somewhere ali's story arc didn't lead nowhere except for johnny feeling a lot better and i guess moving on and saying i i guess i could get into another relationship now that i feel like i have uh resolved my past you know what i'm saying so who Fucking cares, dude. Like, nobody gives a damn about your love life. You are a fucking 40-year-old man. If you don't grow a pair and grow up, dude, like, come on, man. Grow a pair. Seriously. Like, Johnny, oh my God, dude. You're ugh. in that in that in that regard, the whole alley situation, you're lame. Um also that finale was lacking, boy. Like, uh you can now season two had one of the best freaking best season finales ever rocked me to my soul right but this season's finale just wasn't all that good like it was okay uh i mean i enjoyed the hawk uh the hawk in the scenes that hawk was in and he was fighting that was cool but um the thing that really stole the show was the finale the final fight between crease johnny and uh daniel that was the coolest uh and the highlight of the show right that was it i can't i'm not gonna lie the house party fight that shit was sloppy. And I'm really glad that the choreography team or Sam or wherever they did, I, I'm glad that they really was on point with they fighting in their scene. Because if that scene was off, I would have been like, man, you know what? This That shit could have damaged the whole season. Excuse me. Um, but that finale wasn't as good as the previous two finales. I liked it. I think it was cool. But I'm not really, like I said, I'm not, I'm not digging it. I just wasn't digging it at all. Uh, the I'm not digging the house fighting scene, okay? Um, <clears throat> I'm glad that they didn't finish. They're putting off the tournament for the next season, so it won't feel like every season we get a tournament. So that's pretty cool um, because I know we had a tournament in the first season. We didn't have a tournament in the second one or the third. So I guess in the fourth one, we're going to have a, a tournament, which to me is pretty cool. Um, they have to film it. They have to do it quick because these kids are growing. They're getting older, and you don't want them to look older then with their you you know you don't want no bearded ass hawk talking about I'm I'm 16. You know, like you, he already kind of looks older as it is. Like he looks a lot older. My man's riding a motorcycle, so you don't want him to look too damn old and not be able to like come off as believable as a high school kid. Because once they get out of that high school look, a lot of these kids were coming off looking like they weren't even in high school. A lot of these kids got fat, man. Uh Tori and Sam got a little chunky. Um and Hawk grew like a mofo. But all in all, 
the season was fun. It was it was enjoyable. But like I said, it had a lot of fluff. Um, there's a lot of fluff in the season. Even in some of the earlier episodes, it felt kind of fluffy. Um, I felt like the Robbie, looking for Robbie thing earlier in the season kind of took a lot of time off. Um, I enjoyed the Robbie fight. Look, man, the Robbie prison stuff was cool. I really wish that instead of some of the fluff, we would have got more interaction with Robbie in prison. I he look, th This was a stupid thing. They show Robbie in prison. He beats dude up, gets the respect because he didn't snitch. Tight. <clears throat> but then you don't show him again ever until he gets out. And you're just like, all right, that was... So what was the freaking point of showing him do that? Like, I thought there was going to be more substance to it. I thought that it was going to be more of a, like, something that he learned in prison. Like, I thought there was going to be a story arc within the prison. You get what I'm saying? Like, it was like, I guess, like a little snippet. Like, okay, he was getting punked, but he had to show, like, okay, Crease's style work. That's cool. But at the end of the day, like, I wish it would have been more to it. Maybe show more Crease visiting him in jail, giving him some tips, giving him some pointers, maybe um, having him have more fights, maybe showing him using his fighting skills to do bad things in prison. Something along the lines of that. Like, don't just, oh, he was in jail, he beat somebody ass, and then he got out. That's what's up. Um, the pacing in a season. <clears throat> I understand why the pacing in the season was so quick. You had a lot of stuff going on very fast. So you had Robbie go to Robbie on the run. Robbie went to jail. Robbie got out. Miguel in the coma. Miguel wakes up from a coma. Miguel has to learn how to walk again. Miguel learns how to walk again. Then he tries to, then he trains. So you had all of this stuff in there. And it's like, it progressed literally through 10 episodes and it's like, damn, what's the time? What's the time frame of these things? And I get why they had to do it. But I think sometimes they have to um, think about the realistic aspect of what they're doing. You know, like, is this really plausible to do in all in one season? You know, so um, like I said, fun season. Uh, it was filled with a lot of cool stuff. Um, I loved it. But like I said, this might be one of the weaker seasons of the three so far. So I hope um, next season they come with that fire. Um, my next video on Cobra Kai will be a prediction video. I'm going to predict, talk about what I predict is going to happen in the next season. So that's another video for you guys to check out. And this is Dave from the 80s. Let me know if you agree with my overview. Let me know if you disagree. But until next time, you are now exiting the Cinema Chop Shop. See you next time.